If you've been served with divorce papers and you're going to see the attorney for the first time, what kind of documents do you need to bring with you? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas. I've been helping people get divorced since 1987. And when you first go to see an attorney after you've been served with divorce papers, you want to bring a copy with you of everything that you were served with. Sometimes you're served with a petition and a notice of a temporary orders hearing. You need to bring all of that with you, even if some of it looks like it's a duplicate to you. Now, there are other papers that the attorney's going to need pretty soon after you get started. Maybe not the first day, but the sooner you get it to the attorney, the better. First of all, you should sit down and make a list of all of your assets and all of your debts. As far as debts, you need to know all of the bank accounts, the last three digits of the bank account number, and approximately how much money is in that account. And as far as your debts, you need to have a list of all the credit cards, last three digits of the credit card number, what kind of card it is, how much is owed on that card, and whose name is on the credit card. List any other loans that you have, your mortgage, how much is owed on your house, um, your car loans, how much is owed on those, and so forth. Then you need to make a budget. Actually two. First you need to make a budget that lists what you're currently paying on everything on a monthly basis. How much a month you pay for utilities, groceries, uh, how much a month you pay for your mortgage, all of your normal monthly expenses. Then you need to mark on there which things you think your spouse should continue to pay while the divorce is pending and which things you would continue to pay while the divorce is pending. And then make a separate budget and include things that are not expenses right now, but are going to be expenses in the very near future, such as if you're going to move out and get an apartment, you got to pay rent on the apartment. Maybe you have utilities for that apartment that are separate for the utilities of the house. And so make a personal budget of what your monthly expenses are going to be separate and apart from your spouse's monthly expenses. Bring your budgets, your list of debts, your list of assets. And also if you have children, um, the attorney is going to need to know the names, dates of birth, where they were born, and the last three digits of the children's social security numbers. If you're the one who's going to end up paying child support, you need to be sure you bring your pay stubs for the last two months and your tax returns for the last two years. Even if you're just going to be the one who's receiving child support, bring those things as much as you can get. Now, if you can't get all of it, the attorney can help you get it. Um, if you own real estate, it's a good idea to bring a copy of the deed, especially if you have real estate in more than one county. As many of those deeds as you can get together, it's going to save you money in the long run. The attorney can go get those deeds for you if you don't have them or can't get them but the attorney is going to charge you for getting those things. If the attorney has to ask you multiple times to bring things in, they're going to charge you every time they have to ask you. If they go through a stack of documents that you brought in and find things that are missing and they have to contact you again and say these things are, are missing and we still need them, that's costing you money. So the more efficient you can be by listing things, getting all that information in one place and bringing it with you, the sooner the better, that's going to save you money. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me. <laughs>